What's up guys? Grim here. Would you like to win one million dollars? Okay, we're not giving away one million dollars, but we are giving away several of the Dream Soul bundles that just came out. And if you have not seen these new souls in action, they are an absolute blast to play. As you can see in my new videos that I have up or coming up that show me with a first impression view of the new souls and running with them in a warfront. You get to see me try to PVP with no macros and an absolute first look at these souls. So it is an absolute train wreck, but it is a blast. And the fun part is in each one of these videos, if you leave your character name and server below the video in the comment section, you will be entered into a chance to win one of these Dream Soul bundles. Now I'm giving one away in each one of the new first impression videos, so make sure that you enter into all four and be sure to be subscribed to the channel. Not into the whole YouTube thing? Well, we made another way so you can enter and all you have to do is go to my Facebook page and click the like button and leave a comment under this post and you will be entered into the drawing as well. So if you want to be entered in as many times as possible, leave a comment in each one of the videos and make sure you are subscribed and go to the Facebook page and click the like button and leave a comment and you will be entered in five times for four of the Dream Soul bundles. And all of these prizes are being provided by the guild Godlike Awesomeness that is holding a 3v3 tournament this Saturday, May the 10th at 6.30 server times. So make sure you are there watching it live on my live stream channel, which is in the description below. If you have not watched my live streams, you are missing out on life, trust me. And if you do subscribe to my channel and take part in this contest, trust me, you will love my channel if you like any kind of PVP content. My channel is exclusively Rift, exclusively PVP. So it's no filler, just killer. So if you're seeing this right now, it is one of the videos that you can leave the comment in below. So make sure that you leave your character name down there with the server and be sure to be subscribed. This is a video for the giveaway. Leave it down there now. What's up guys, bringing you guys another first impression video. And this time it's on the cleric's new soul, the Oracle. So we're going to go right into this and let's spec into it. Uh, that's Mage Trainer, Rogue, uh, Cleric. Okay, let's make sure that we are on a soul that we do not mind to reset. Well, let's go to the new one. That one makes it even easier. Uh, well, we don't even have to reset anything. Okay. So we need to go to the soul tree and wait a minute. Warden? What? Okay. I guess I do need to reset it. No. I never had a warden spec. What is the deal with that? Okay. Presets. And it should be at the bottom. No, no, no. Wow, that's a lot of presets for cleric. All right, here we go. We got uh, protagonist. What? No. Prognosticator. Okay. Uh, we'll want to delve into spell power and crit power based gear. Almost all of the prognosticators' damage will revolve around signias and emblems while keeping their party or raid buffed via inspirations okay so let's get right into this uh the three key abilities that we're going to need is uh emblem of ice which deals water damage applies emblem of ice to the cleric increasing damage and healing okay so that will be a instant main ability for us, I imagine. So this one, cast time, deals a little bit more damage? Why would you use ins Oh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, non-emblem ability, all right. So that one, this one buffs up that one, gotcha. All right, 
Uh, inspiration of survival buffs all party and raid members absorbing 10% of incoming damage for 20 seconds or up to 310 damage whenever an insignia is cast cannot be applied more than once every 10 seconds hmm okay so all right so it's just a buff that you cast every 10 seconds or so gotcha all right so let's go ahead and spec right into this we're not going to read a guide or anything normally you want to read guides on this stuff guys don't don't jump right into it like i am normally uh yeah 61 oracle let's see went 12 in the warden for damage increase crit increase uh increases your damage and healing and absorption gained uh, increases damage and increases spell power so we can see where this is going okay mana regeneration we'll go ahead and throw that there just in case defensive favor increases in all resist okay only one favor or anthem at a time so increases movement speed of all party members hey that's a Wow, okay. Reduce ability cost by 5%. Oh man, which one would I want? Increase movement speed, defensive, or... I guess it might need to be switched up. So we're going to put defensive there if people are just dying a lot. Let's go ahead and increase our movement speed by 15%. That's, that's pretty boss right there to me. Uh, cast all no... What? All known boons and inspirations. So I didn't even have to. Let's see if this is doing what we think it is. Okay. That one, that one. Uh, inspiration of battle. Where's that at? It's not there. Oh, here it is. Ah, oh, okay. All right. So, um, does it do that one? Wait a minute. Was that a? Oh, it's a toggled one. All right, gotcha. 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 All right, and we'll go ahead and cast that one. So we got a lot of good stuff going here. Uh, do we? Okay, we got some debuffs here. It caused the enemy to take a thousand five hundred additional. All right, let's go ahead and throw that on the bar. Curse. Yeah, we'll just curse these guys up like crazy. All right, you can have more than one curse. Good deal. Good deal. Okay, no uh, real CCs with this tree. So, granted, this is probably just a PVE version of this. So we're just we're gonna roll into a war front with this PVE version. Inspiration of survival. Where is it? Where is it? Do we already have it up? Wait a minute, we don't need that every 10 seconds. It's a buff. Ah, whatever. Okay, kinda throws me off a little bit. Okay, a, let's go ahead and go to Warden. Let's see what we got here. We've got no buffs except for this one. Oh man. Come on now. Okay, we got a buff there. That's a good one. So what are we going to be doing? Just casting two spells? Well, I guess we're kind of missing the point of Oracle then because... Oh, I see what's going on here. 
Okay, so I guess I guess the whole idea here is that all of these attacks, I guess these will be two main attacks here that are just real good at uh, hitting people for a decent amount of damage, I guess. It doesn't look like a lot of damage, but we'll see. Um, whereas these ones here, they... Uh, they hit big areas, but then they buff up everybody as it's hitting, so. Alright, we're going to roll with this. Let's see how we do. Uh, we have absolutely no CCs at all, pretty much. Yeah, nothing. There was no CCs in that, so we're just going to have to jump right into this and see how we do. All right, it's go time, guys. Now, oh no, it's already started and we're already losing. No, no, no. All right, basically what's going to be happening here is we have no CCs at all. So, oh man, this is going to be so bad. We've got no CCs. We have no macros. That is an instant, isn't it? Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Alright, alright. That's the healer. Let's see if we even hit any of the right buttons. Okay, we're zapping him for very little damage, I believe. No CCs, no interrupts. Oh, this is a catastrophe. Uh, let's cast a wave. Okay, it's a cone in front. Now, you'll notice right off the bat, this is nothing like I'm used to playing, so... I, I'm probably going to be playing it all wrong. Okay, let's do this one. Oh. Tidal wave time. Oh, the cross healing is strong in this team. Am I casting the right abilities? First blood. First blood? Somebody just now finally killed somebody? What is going on? Too many healers. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, okay. There we go. Um, tidal wave, all these people. You're going down, fools! Okay, let's apply all the emblems to him. Let's buff up everybody. Let's cast our insignia of blood over and over. So we. Oh, we got a kill! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, man, we are in business! Ain't nobody gonna break my stride. Oh man, that's like the first time I got a kill testing out these new souls. Mm, kill, kill, kill. Oh. Uh, of course all my stuff goes off since so I start recording. I knew I should have took it out. Uh, come on. Dang. Man, I almost, I got too hyped up. I wanted to get another kill so bad there. Hey, you guys. Tidal wave. Right in the face. Right in the face. <laughs> uh, let's do some, let's apply all our emblems to this guy. Let's uh, do our debuff there or whatever we're doing. Uh, we've got no way to interrupt. We just gotta look at him kill himself. No! That's totally not what I want to do. Okay, tidal wave. I feel like I'm being so productive once I hit that tidal wave. It's like, oh man, I hit so many people with it. I have no clue how good it's doing or anything like that because I don't even remember the tooltip. But... I feel so productive.
Uh, oh, we got all these debuffs, man. I haven't been using them. Oh. Tidal wave. Such a good feeling. Okay, we should have... Wait a minute. It only looks like two debuffs on that dude. Is what I'm doing not debuffs? It's curses and stuff. Shouldn't it show... Oh. oh, yeah. It's showing up on him. Okay, good. Good deal. Good deal. Bam. Let's hit him with all that stuff. You know what? Tidal wave. <laughs> I feel amazing. Let's blast some more debuffs. You know what? Oh, oh, kill, kill, kill. There. Oh, I don't have my... Man, I, I gotta learn from my past mistakes. I keep on forgetting to put my break free on the bars. Uh, you know what? Bam. Take that. Let's apply some more debuffs to these guys. Let's go bam. Oh man. So, so should I just be dotting these guys up, I guess? I mean, should I even worry about damage? Or should I just... Tidal Wave! <laughs> uh... Oh, am I gonna get... Oh, bam! Kill! In the face! I gotta kill! <laughs> Uh, throw all the emblems on that dude. Am I... Are these emblems? No, these are curses. Okay, gotcha. Oh. Oh, it's that time. It's that time, guys. Bam! <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, none of my... What? How come that's not working? Cast time. Gosh, man. Oh, I gotta learn this stuff. Here I've been trying to cast that the entire time, man. Oh. You know what? Tidal wave. That's so disappointing, man. Oh, does... Okay, something makes it instant. What is making it in is it that first buff? Killing spree. Must it must be. It must be. Let's Let's just start debuffing people, man. Just whatever. Bam. You know what? Take that. Looks like I'm doing a decent amount of damage. I mean, I'm not hitting like in the thousands and stuff, but look at all the numbers going up. You know, it kind of makes you think that you're doing all right. Tidal wave time. It's that time. You know what? Mm. Take some of that. You want to jump around? You want to jump around? Why don't you get away from that? Why don't you get away from that? What you got for that? Uh, I get... I have a feeling that I'm doing it wrong whenever I'm casting this as a cast timer. Because there's obviously something that makes it instant. Win! We won!
Two kills. Look at that. Oh man, let's let's see here. I, I imagine I'm pretty terrible in all this. Uh, not too bad. I was in the upper fifty percent. Not too bad. Uh, damage taken. Whoa, nobody was hitting me. I guess they didn't see me as much of a threat. Uh, healing done. Yeah, zero. Okay, so. Uh, healing taken. Of course, I wasn't hit very much, so I was very low on that. Yep. But look, we're third in kills. Third in kills. All right. This is a pretty cool spec, man. It, the way that it buffs up everybody, you know, you you just seen by reading the tooltips, you knew it buffed up everybody pretty awesomely. So, man, this could be a very, very cool spec. And it's not seen as a threat. Nobody's seen you as healing. Nobody's seen you as doing tons of damage and stuff. So they ignore you. Nobody was even hitting me. They were, they seen me as no threat at all. And, you know, I know my abilities were uh, buffing up everybody and all that. And I was throwing all the curses on people and stuff. So, yeah. This is a pretty cool spec, man. It kind of makes me think of Dom. You know, how... Uh, you know, if a, if a Dom doesn't really start squirreling people like crazy or, uh, uh, you know, goes into the split personalities, people tend to ignore the Dom and the Dom is doing so much problems to the enemies. You know, draining their mana and draining their energy and everything. And I feel like this is the same type of spec where it's just going to really cause terror onto the other, t other side and they're not even going to realize it. Well, at least not for now. People know to look for Doms now, but do people know to look for Oracles right now? I don't think so. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up. Uh, hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed because you'll get all the future content and all of that. So, uh, I'm, as usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.